that Chris has had the, the grand idea to try and figure out what the best intro music is for a, uh, for a wrestler in history. How say you, Jim Ross? I think the most chilling entrance in all of uh, sports entertainment is The Undertaker's entrance. Mm. Uh, yeah. But there are other guys that really have had amazing entrances. Uh, when the glass breaks and Stone Cold comes out, there was really nothing quite like that in that Attitude Era. And of course, uh, you know, I signed The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, and his music's very uh, memorable as well. Shawn Michaels, the Sexy Boy theme, a lot of that stuff is really good. But uh, Undertaker just is the most chilling, memorable, because they cool the arena down, the lights are really neat, and it's, it's slow, and it's almost like a funeral procession. <laughs> it is true. Is Andre the Giant, did he have that, or did he predate uh, intro music? Andre predated music. And, music, period. Uh, yeah, all music, of course. <laughs> and uh, he did not, uh, he did not uh, predate alcohol. Ah, yeah, I've heard, uh, I've heard tales. <laughs> I've, I've been with him where he, he's had, I think the last count, the best count I ever had with him personally was 127 beers. Wait, so that's true. Over how many hours did this happen? Oh, maybe two or three. <laughs> Two or three hours, the man, I, now listen, Andre the Giant was a sizable human, but 127 cans of beer. Oh, yeah, the, but you got to understand that the can would hide in his hand. It's, it's two shots. Yeah. It's like you and I having a, a shot of something, milk or whatever Like a you thimble. Drink. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's my thing. Yeah, of course, milk. yes. Uh, and then he would normally ch he'd normally chase, yes, uh, or soy. And he would normally chase <laughs> uh, the beer with bottles of wine. And I, I remember one night he got drunk sure, in Detroit, and they had to get into his hotel room in a luggage cart because nobody could get him up his stool <laughs> at the bar. So he was a classic, classic character. King Kong Bundy always had to be there to be his wingman to try and care. He's the only other human who could, could probably King Kong think. Bundy had this. Of course, he had his eating addiction of Twinkies. No, <laughs> kidding. He's a good guy. <laughs> that would have been intimidating in a way, you know, if you were about to get into the squared circle with King Kong Bundy and he was so cavalier about the bout with you, he just ate a few Twinkies to get ready. That's it. That would have been something. <laughs> Law, what do you say is the best uh, intro song? Oh, it's tough. I, I the, the Undertaker's on there because just, you know, hearing the bell ring and then the auditorium going dark was always pretty cool. But uh, I, I was I was kind of the Stone Cold generation. So that hmm. glass shattering, pretty fun. I mean, I grew up with I'm a Real American. You know, Hulk Hogan comes out. Good, too. You know, Very pumping good. the fist, you know, eat your vitamins, drink your milk. Brother. But when the glass breaks, it's your ass. And, and you know uh, it's about to get real. Yeah. yeah, I'm old school like you, Brockman. I, I think I have to – I don't want to overthink this one. I think I am a Real American, you know, Hulk Hogan in there. Do you, you think Hogan played that? During the uh, verdict of the Gawker trial, <laughs> I am a real American. I'd like to think so. I've taken all your money again. <laughs> Something like that. That works out in everything. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.